famous birthdays. Welcome to my crib. I'm Lily Buckingham and today we're doing a day in the life. Come on. So today basically we are going to a charity event called Children Mending Hearts and they are an incredible charity that helps so many kids around the world and me and my best friend Maddie get to present an award to my incredible mom. So we're pretty excited. We're gonna see if we can keep it together without laughing during the speech. It's just not gonna happen, but that's okay. Because we're, we're us. So basically the award is like, um, they're giving it to my mom because she's been really influential like her whole life for like giving things to other people and helping out charities and doing it not for like her own personal gain but because she just really wanted to. So pretty lucky to have her. You, Oh, she goes. <laughs> mostly well, you have half of your she goes mostly was for my own personal gain. Not really. Sarcasm, no. sarcasm. No. People would be like, are you serious? Wow. Sometimes I'm sarcastic on camera or like on Instagram and then people are like, is she being serious? I'm like, no, 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 I swear I'm not. It's just my British humor in me, I'm sorry. My dad's British, so like that's where I get all my sarcasm. So I'm sorry. <laughs> You're such a puppy. Such a puppy. Oh, oh, those are the two Riverdale people. Rosa and Heart Dead. So one of them's a boy. No, no, no. Heart is a boy. Yeah, Heart Dead. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's is he from Riverdale? Yeah. Who does he play? He's like Betty's creepy brother, who's not actually. Oh. Now. You look beautiful. Yeah, that, 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 and so do you, Jane. Thank you. So do you. We all look beautiful. Yay. I look like a little lard. Shut uh, up. No, you don't. <laughs> Your eyes, um, and I like is Tanya's really, really good at eyeliner. Yeah. Do you want to take a selfie? <laughs> Is that a picture that you take of yourself? Hi. 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 Here, I'm gonna give you a wristband. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Ziegler. And today we are here to present a very important award to a very important person. The award we're presenting is called Hero of the Ages, and trust me, this woman lives up to the title. She's written five books, her first at 16, owns her own company, sits on the board of directors at Baby to Baby, and she deals with me 24 hours a day. Did I forget to mention this incredible woman is my mother? <laughs> Jane Buckingham has inspired me and so many others in so many different ways. Her generosity and kind heart lead her to always give and rarely take, and she gives without question or thought. It's just who she is. She's been so influential in my life, and she acts as a second mom to me. As I grew up, I watched her care for others who couldn't care for themselves. It was so inspiring, and it wasn't because she thought she would gain from it. It was because she genuinely wanted to. Helping others is basically a natural reflex to her. Her selflessness leads her to constantly put others before herself, making her a hero to everyone around her. My incredible mother, Jane Buckingham, is a force of nature who will stop at nothing to help all those around her, including us. So Jane, Mom, we, we present to you the Hero of the Ages Award. I should have read that because it made me cry and Aww. I'm really proud of myself that I have two girls who can write such a beautiful, spe beautiful speech on their own. Um, really the only thing better than being given an award like this is to be given it by your children and Maddie I consider you my second daughter. Um, I'll be honest in saying when I thought it was actually Hero of the Aged and maybe it was just because I was getting old. Um, but I don't feel like a hero. I take care of my kids, I work pretty hard, and I try to help where I can, but I haven't done so many things. Um, but I guess maybe that's the lesson to take away, which is that you don't have to be Iron Man, and you don't have to be the president, um, and you don't have to be someone who's larger than life to be a hero in somebody's life. And then the last thing I want to say is that when I first wrote this, I was going to say how lucky I felt to be getting this award. And I remember that I once heard a woman say that women in particular attribute great things that happen to them to luck. It's not luck. We all work hard, and if you're doing the right things, you're working very hard to, to do what you can and, and to get where you are. And so instead, I'm very, very grateful um, to my girls, to my son, to my friends, and especially to Children Mending Hearts and Lisa for giving me this lovely award. So thank you. much for following me around today. I hope you learned a little something about what my life is like and I love you guys so much. <laughs>